So some news out of New York, uh, an unexpected shortage, uh, dogs to adopt. A lot of people are running out and getting dogs to adopt, I guess, to help them pass the time. They, they do great, they do make great companions. Um, you know, I, I own a dog, I love my dog, and uh, definitely, uh, definitely if you have, uh, you know, if you're feeling lonely or have any issues with depression, dogs definitely help a lot. Okay, I really want to talk about Q. Now, this has been popping up a lot online, and it, it, it's raising a lot of questions for me, because this whole Q uh, conspiracy, or whatever you want to call it, this Q movement, I'll call it, is a little bit suspicious to me, okay? So, uh, it's, it, it's, it's kind of like this. It's like one part um, truther, one part straight-up conspiracy, other part Trump propaganda, and then like another part of like uh, fan fiction or like sci-fi fiction or some kind of just like it just seems weird someone needs to explain this to me I've seen a couple documentaries anytime you question it online the Q followers ha have like this condescending and like aggressive response which to me indicates that this is some kind of thing for naive people or those who who are really searching for something to believe in not anybody like really looking into the facts so i was looking at this documentary yesterday and it did it did mention some very you know some legit information like questioning 9-11 like you know what happened there and showing like the the different links to uh sex trafficking with the elite things like that a lot of good information but then you kind of lose me when it gets to you know pointing to forum posts messaging board posts like how much credence am i supposed to put into messaging boards their basic argument is that trump or somebody close to trump is posting on message boards giving secret codes and secret information to the public and it just seems really outlandish and then they somehow uh tie in the uh the the um the bit about uh, Trump's uncle getting Nikola Tesla's uh, um, information, which, from from what I from what I seem to gather, is true, but then they they tie in that book with Baron Trump and time travel, and they even bring in JFK Jr. into the mix, which is a new one. So they're basically arguing that JFK Jr. didn't get uh, didn't die and uh, staged his death so that. He could lead this, uh, you know, American, new American revolution, and that Donald Trump is, was in it the whole time, and it's just, it's just the whole, it's a big old pill to swallow, and I just have a lot of questions about Q. If you, if you have any, any information you want to link to me without being a condescending asshole, please do, because I actually do look at the stuff. I'll, I'll at least scan through it, like that documentary. I was scanning through it. I spent maybe like half an hour scanning through it because it was like a two or three hour documentary. And then like the beginning had a lot of stuff that I already heard or knew about. And then it was only like at the end that I really watched more because it was trying to link it to the Q stuff going on in the message boards. So here's, here's, here's the thing with me. I, I feel like A, this could be... Okay, there's always the possibility that this is legit, right? But it's a very small likelihood in my opinion i my my firm belief is that we live in infinite possibility that reality could even be fluid uh timelines could be fluid we could be going in and out of timelines mandela effect whatever you want to call it um you know we we there's a lot we don't know about about the current you know about our reality basically right um so I'm not going to sit here and be, and be like, oh, yeah, it's definitely false or whatever, because there's definitely some crazy shit that has turned out true that, that I've researched, you know, like the Tuskegee experiments. Like who would have thought the United States government would be testing syphilis on black people and poor white people, you know? So the sky's the limit when it comes to evil and, and you know, the shit, you know, psych, psychopaths and sociopaths and the shit they get into. But here's my worry. It's my worry that this is some kind of distraction, that this is some kind of like disinfo psyop to lead people into false hopes, thinking that, you know, uh, JFK is going gonna, is gonna to come back from the grave and save us all. And, um, and you know, and it makes me think that, uh, you know, it's, it's just going to mess with people's, uh, you know, thinking and, and their own 
personal preparations and, and things like that um, to think that there's people in the government that are you know are going to be arresting all these like elite pedophiles and stuff like that and a lot of the followers of this uh, of this uh, movement um, they're very outspoken about it and very confident about it and like I want to understand what they're saying but they kind of just like they, they act like cult members or like uh, religious zealots or something like that like the second you question them they get they get fucking angry at you um, and I'm and I'm just here trying to figure out what's going on um, but yeah it would be nice if uh, there were elements in the government rooting out the bad guys and stuff like that and, and you know they point to um, Weinstein and uh, you know Epstein and stuff like that how they had a bunch of information linked to rich people and I'm sure they did but um, you know, are, are there really a bunch of arrests being made? You know, are these CEOs that, that all resign linked to this? Um, you know, leave your, your, your thoughts in the comments because, uh, you know, I, I, I really don't know what to think about it. And it just seems like a lot of speculation and hearsay. Uh, you know, it's not like actually based on fact. Like if you want to talk about 9-11, there's a lot of things that are based on fact that you can talk about. What about the thermite pools? Uh, at the bottom of World Trade, uh, World Trade Center. How did that... Um, ooh, I farted. How about that passport that allegedly ended up in Times Square unharmed that fell from the plane? Like, these things are just... You know, the, the way Building 7 fell down like a, a controlled demolition. Those are things that are rooted in fact. Like, okay, like, if you really think about it, how did all those things happen? But when you, when you start bringing in JFK and, like, any, you know showing pictures of some random dude like is this jfk like is he wearing makeup like his nose changes all the time uh, i'm gonna need a little bit more than that because it could be just some random guy that you just you just haven't found the information on like like have you really looked yourself for this for information anyways kind of like a ramble on this q stuff but um you know i'm curious to find out more about it but i just need some more reasonable people to talk to about this and not just like random trolls on the internet who like believe everything they see on a message board